Hello, I'm Liam. I'm building a very tall tower. Come on, you can build one with me if you'd like. Are you ready to start building? Okay, here we go. Let's start with the bigger blocks on the bottom first. Here we go. Build, 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 build it very high. Build, 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 build it to the sky. Build it here, build it there, build it everywhere. Build it in, build it out, build it all about. Build, 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 build it very high. Build, 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 build it to the sky. <laughs> well, my tower is looking at pretty tall now, isn't it? A very tall, colourful tower. It's got some green, pink, purple. We've got some red blocks and some orange blocks. Oh. Sounds like someone's waking up. Hello, Liam. Hello, Cassie. Hey, I've got a joke for you. What kind of building is the tallest in the world? A library, because it has the most stories. Do you get it? Stories is in books and stories is in buildings. That's very funny, Liam. Puzzle play? Awesome. Pat and Kel will be thrilled to hear about it. Oh, here they come now. Hi, Liam. Hello, I'm Kel. Hi, I'm Patrick. Liam, what are you doing? Oh, well, Cassie was just saying that she has a puzzle for us. Oh, great, a puzzle. <gasps> Fantastic. <laughs> I knew you guys would be happy. All right, Cassie, let's see it. Hello, Kel. Hello, Patrick. Our puzzle is a picture to see. The four different shapes are a mystery. Guess the shapes to take the pieces away. This is how we puzzle play. Oh, hmm. wow. Look at all those shapes. They're very unusual. Four different pieces with four different shapes on them. Each time we guess a shape, another piece of the picture is revealed. Yes, the picture will help us guess what all these things have in common. I think we're going to need some help to get started on this puzzle. Mm. We'll definitely need your help. Oh, and it sounds like a penny will be happy to help. We're playing a game. There's one person in the middle of the circle who has to close their eyes so they can't see. We walk around the circle, we pass a puzzle piece to each other. When the person in the middle says puzzle, the person holding the puzzle piece says play. The person in the middle has to try and work out who said play. Puzzle. Play. Christian. Play. Play. Sometimes we try to make it harder for them. Puzzle. Mm. Question. No. <laughs> that looked like a fun game to play, didn't it? 
Have you ever played a game like that before? There's something in that game that is very important and you need to do. Do you know what that very important thing is? You have to listen so that you can hear where the other person is so you can find them. Listening is a very important skill you need. And I'm about to make something that we can listen to right now. It's called a music tube. Now, it's a little bit tricky, so you might need to get some help. All right, so I've got a cardboard tube. I've got some twisty ties, some stickers, a few beads here, and I've got some circles. Now, these circles need to be bigger than the end of our tubes because they're going to go over the top and I'm going to fold it down around it. Now, it's going to be a bit like a lid, so I'll put the paper there and fold it down the sides. Now, this is the hard bit, so I'm going to get some help, I think. Patrick! Oh, hi, Pat. Hey, Liam. What are you doing? I'm making a music tube. Oh, cool. And I'm going to need your help, so if you could just hold that there for me. Yep. Thanks for that. And I'm going to get a twisty tie and wrap it around nice and tight. Ooh, very looks good. very colourful. Yes, it is. There. Oh, see, it's a little bit hard. Ah, great. Thanks for that, Pat. Now, if no you just worries. want to stay around, because I'll need your help in a moment. Okay. Now I'm going to put some things inside. I'm going to get these beads. You don't need too many. I'll just put in a handful. You don't need to fill the whole thing up. There we go. And it's going to make a really cool sound. Thanks for that, Pat. No worries. And you shake it around. Oh, cool. Yeah, so now I need to seal up this end. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did down here. So I'll get my circle, put it over the top, fold it down the sides, and Pat. I'll hold that. Thank you. Get my twisty tie. Bring it around. And I'm just going to, I'll just turn that around, Pat. Oh, yep, there, there we, we go. go. I'm going to twist it nice and tight and twist it around the back as well. And it's nearly finished. Thanks for that, Patrick. No worries, Liam. Great. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of colour because it looks a bit boring, doesn't it? So, that's why I've got my stickers. I'll get some red stickers, put them all along the front here. I want it to be very colourful. I'll turn it around. I might put some green ones on here. One there, one there, maybe a yellow. And I've got some stars as well. So I'll just get a few, stick them on. There. That's looking pretty good. What do you think, Cassie? Oh, well, let's give it a go, shall we? Hey, sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Did you want to come and play with me? Here we go. We'll play the tube. You ready? I like to play the tube. It's as easy as can be. Everybody come and play with me. You can give it a try. You can feel the beat. Everybody come and tap your feet. Can you play it fast? Can you play it slow? Can you give it a hard shake? Can you give it a soft shake? Can you do anything? Do anything. Now try and sing. La 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 la. I like to play with my tube. Shake, shake. Oh, hello Cassie. Am I being too loud for you? Lots of fun things to see and do, but try not to miss a clue for you. Oh, a clue. Well, maybe the music tube is a clue. Maybe there's a music tube on today's puzzle. Let's have a look. Hmm, there isn't anything that really looks like a music tube, is there? Is there a music tube on the puzzle, Cassie? Hmm, try again. Oh, no music tube. Well, that's no good. We'll have to think about this one. Well, you listen to a music tube. Maybe listening is the clue. Listening. And what do you listen with? That's right, your ears. There's an ear on today's puzzle. That shape there looks like an ear. Let's see it, Cassie. A 
a piece of our picture, it's time to show. That's one piece down and three to go. Oh, we were right, an ear. Well, this is looking like a very interesting puzzle. Hmm, I wonder what the next piece will be. Oh, sounds like Cassie has something else to show us. Would you like another clue? Excellent, a clue. Let's see it, Cassie. Vaniki. Good girl. Dear. Okay. Good girl. Hey, she's a good girl, isn't she? That big elephant. Get this colour, big girl. Pa. Cindy. Dear. Vaniki. Good girl. Dear. Okay. Good girl. Hey, she's a good girl. A bit more blue in there. What do you reckon? Cindy? Nia? Vaniki? Nia? Okay. Good girl. Oh, she's a good girl, isn't she? Oh, yes, you are, big elephant. All right, how can we add some uh, colour to this one, big girl? We're going to do something different. All right, a bit of green, maybe. What do you reckon? Pa, right, Cindy. Dia. Vaniki. Good girl. Vaniki. Good girl. Dia. Okay. Good girl, Kepa. That's very good, isn't it? Hey, you big elephant. Mia. Vaniki. Good girl. Please. Get past. Mia. Please. Nia, yeah. okay. Good girl. What a good girl. Ain't ya? Hey, oh, big elephant. Here we go. Wow, I love elephants. Did you see that elephant there? He had a paintbrush. Come on, let's be elephants. I can be an elephant. I'll just get out my big long trunk and sway it from side to side. Have you got your trunk? Come on, swaying your trunk and stomping your feet. Here we go. I am an elephant, I move very slow. I have a long trunk that moves to and fro. I have four feet that pound the ground. And when I call, I make this sound. Cause I am big and I am slow. I wobble side to side when I go. I swish my trunk from side to side. Would you like to come for a ride? <laughs> wow, were you being an elephant? You know, elephants are the largest land animals in the world. Oh, what have I got here? Oh, I've got some animal noses. See if you can guess what I am. All right, I'll just pop this one on. Okay, can you guess what this is? I'll give you a clue. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> well, this here is a bill. It's a duck's bill, and it's got the two little nostrils in the duck's bill. Hmm, all right, pop that one away. See if you can guess what this one is. All right, give me a second. Ta-da! Woof, woof. 
<laughs> of course, it's a dog. <laughs> that one was easy, wasn't it? All right, see if you can guess what this one is. All right, put this on. Oop. <laughs> it's a bit tricky. There we go. I'll give you another clue. That's right, <laughs> it's a pig. Mm. But I think I prefer my own nose. I think it suits my face better. You know, we've got noses to help us smell and breathe. Oh, hi Cassie. You sound like you're hinting at something. Is my nose a clue? Hmm, I think I may have seen a nose on today's puzzle. Ah, I see it. Do you see that nose? That shape there. Well done, team. That's puzzle piece two. Here's another piece of the picture for you. We were right. Hmm, this is shaping up to be a very interesting puzzle indeed. So, we're halfway there. We've got the ear and the nose. We've only got two more pieces left to go. Hmm, I wonder what all these things have in common. Well, maybe we should figure out the next two pieces of the puzzle first. Let's go. Right, let's just turn your hand. Yep. Our friends are getting ready to make something. Being very careful with those scissors. Cutting out a nose shape. An eye. Oh, a scary looking eye. Sticking the different shapes onto the pieces of coloured paper. It's a face. Our friends are making their own faces. Cool. You and Patrick have done a great job in solving today's puzzle. Only two more pieces left now. That's right. Oh, and I think I can hear Penny. Ooh. Well, I'm off with Penny for some more puzzle play. I'll see you, Liam. OK, bye. So what's your favourite smell? Mango. Mango? What does mango smell like? I don't know. Does it smell fruity? Yeah? What what do things like to touch? What's smooth and what's rough? What's what's something that's rough that you can touch? Concrete. Concrete, yeah, that's good. That's right. So what's your favourite smell? Um cake. Cake. I love cake. It smells really nice, doesn't it? Yes. What does it smell like to you? Strawberry. Oh, strawberry cake? Is that your favourite cake? Yes. And what do you like best about the mango smell? I'm a mango monster. You're a mango monster? How are you a mango monster? Well, mango is my first favourite fruit in the world. Is it? What about an elephant? Do you think an elephant's skin would be smooth or do you think it'd be a bit rough? Rough. Yeah. It's a bit leathery skin, isn't it? And it's floppy. It is floppy. She bakes carrot cakes. <gasps> Carrot cake. And does carrot cake smell? What is it? What do you think it smells like? Carrot. Yeah. <laughs> what do you What do you do with your eyes? Uh, see. Yeah. And what sort of things do you see with your eyes? Uh. What can you see now? You. Um, a leopard skin is soft. It is, and it's spotty too, isn't it? Like that leopard. Yeah, you've got a leopard on your shirt. And what do you think, if you touched carrot cake, what do you think it would feel like? Hot. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? What about colours? What different colours can you see? White. Purple. Yellow. Blue. Pink. 
green, orange, red, wow. black. You know your colours, don't you? See, smell, taste, hear, feel. Did you hear our friends talking about things that felt different? Things that felt smooth and things that felt rough? Well, the way that something feels is called its texture. That's right, Liam. Just kind of like how a pineapple has a rough texture and how an apple has a very smooth texture. Mm. We've got these pieces of coloured dough here. We've flattened them out. And now I'll show you what a texture looks like. I'll grab this pineapple, press it into the coloured dough, Whoa. just like that. Hold that down. Thanks, Liam. Huh. Oh, and there we go. Can you see how that has a very rough texture there? Now let's flip it over. I'll flatten that out. Oh. Flatten that down. And I'll grab the apple and press that into the dough. Very different. Yes. Can you see how that's got a very smooth texture? Now, I'm going to take either the pineapple or the apple and press it into the dough. And I am going to guess what the texture is by feeling it with my hands. That's right. Well, are you ready to start, Liam? I am. I'll just put my blindfold on. Blindfold's on. OK. OK. Ready when you are. Let's see if Liam can guess what kind of texture our coloured dough has. All right. I'll start with this one. I'll just press it into the coloured dough like that. There you go, Liam. OK. See if you can feel that. Oh, well, this is a very smooth texture. No, no, no that's the bench. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Well, that's very rough, isn't it? Lots of bumps and cuts. <laughs> sure is. Very well done, Liam. Are you ready for another one? I am. OK. Let's take this other piece and we'll pop it there. Now, I'll grab this and I'll roll that into my coloured dough without telling Liam what it is, of course. There. Now, see if you can feel that. OK. Oh, it's smooth again. No, 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 that's the bench again. Over here. There, there oh, right, there it is. Oh, that's <laughs> smooth as well. Yeah, very, very smooth. Excellent. All right, well, Liam, you're getting pretty clever. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Okay. Okay. This time, I'm going to put half rough and half smooth textures on the coloured dough. And we'll see if Liam can guess what it is. Patrick. Where are you? Oh, I'm just here. Oh. Been here the whole time. Oh, this is taking a while. <laughs> um, nearly done, nearly done. All right. Just wait one more second. There we go. Oh, okay. See if you can feel that there. Okay. Ooh, this one's strange. There's both smooth and rough. Very well done, oh, Liam. <laughs> I was right. We've got some rough texture here and some smooth texture there. You're very, very good at feeling textures. Mm. <laughs> You know, Liam, you've just given me a spectacular idea. Oh, I have. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I think I see, I've seen hands on today's puzzle. Oh, excellent. Let's take a look. Hmm, which piece looks like a hand? I think that piece there. You're flying through now. What could it be? Let's see what's under puzzle piece three. There it is, another piece of today's puzzle. Great, look at that. That's what teamwork is all about. That's right. Thank you for helping. We've got three pieces and only one more left. Mm. You know what, Patrick? What's that, Liam? I think it might be a letter. I think it is today's letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I wonder what today's letter will be. The letter S. S is for sun. A happy, smiley sun. And S is for snake. S snake. And S is for sock. The letter S. The letter S. I like the letter S. That's the final piece of today's puzzle. The super letter S. The letter S. Can you see it? The final piece for all to see. Can you guess what today's puzzle could be? The letter S. 
Can you think of any words beginning with the letter S? Hmm, well, I remember Liam said one just before. Super! That's right, and you just said one again. Said! Oh. There are lots of words beginning with the letter S. S. Soup. I love to eat soup. Hmm, <laughs> or seaweed. That's that plant that grows underwater. Yes, and sandwich. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Salad sandwich. Mmm. The sound a snake makes. <laughs> hey, Liam, can you sign the letter S? I can. It's just like this. You link your pinkies. Just like that. That's right. Spot on. Excellent. <laughs> well, now that we've solved the letter S, then we can see the whole picture underneath. So, let's take a look. Now, our friends played puzzle play and I'm at a musical tube that we listened to with our ears. And I was an elephant with a long nose called a trunk. Yes, and I felt different textures with my hands. Then there's the letter S. Hmm. Ears, nose, hands and the letter S. Well, this is a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? It is a tricky puzzle. I think we could use another clue. What do you think, Cassie? Could we have another clue, please? That was very helpful. Thank you, Cassie. Yes, I think we've got it now. You use your ears to hear. And you use your nose to smell. And you use your hands to feel. Hmm. They're all senses, aren't they? That's right. Today's puzzle is... S, S is for senses. Puzzle. Puzzle. Puzzle play. We solved it. Great puzzle play. Congratulations to everyone! Today's puzzle was so much fun! Senses. What a great puzzle, Cassie. Mm. And there are five senses all together. Yes, there's sight, smell, taste, touch and sound. Mm, they are our five senses. Yes, and speaking of senses, what did one eye say to the other? I don't know, Liam. I don't know. What, what did, did one, one eye say, say to the, the other? other? Well, between you, the two of us, something smells. Oh, I the know. nose, get it? <laughs> Good one, nice, Liam. Liam. It's time for us to go, but we'll see you on our next show. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being my friend. We've had a fun time, and we'll be back real soon. Thank you for showing us how to play Puzzle Play and making a music tune with me. Thank you for showing us those elephants and for being an elephant with me. Thanks, Penny. Thank you, Cassie. Bye-bye. But most importantly, thank you for another great Puzzle Play. We couldn't have done it without you. Are you ready? Here we Jump go. up the chairs. Clap your hands in the air. Now roll like a bear, row. Jump all around. Step feet on the ground. Step, step. It's a cool way to dance every day. We all work together. The puzzle play way. Keep yourself moving. Have a happy day. Thanks for helping us solve the puzzle. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for your help.